Hey guys, today I'll show you the short recap of a vintage Hollywood film, Summer of 42. Get ready for the best parts, of course, the spoilers. This movie is about a 15-year-old boy, who gets attracted to a 42-year-old woman during his summer holidays. Watch the full video to know, how the 42-year-old woman accepts this young man's love, and gets intimate with him. In the beginning of the movie, three boys are eagerly climbing on a slope to see something. Soon we are shown a woman named Dorothy, coming out from her house to help her husband, and they start their romantic session before going inside. Two boys go away, but the hero of the film, Hermie, is so attracted to Dorothy. In the next scene, the boys are sitting on the boat, and discussing something. Hermie finds Dorothy and her husband at that place. Then he sees that Dorothy is giving a good boy kiss to her husband, as he is leaving for the Second World War. Hermie is so happy to see this happening. Sometime later, the boys are having fun on the field, where Hermie feels some hormones spike after seeing Dorothy's clothes. The boys then spend time on the beach, where they find Dorothy preparing herself to take a sun bath. Hermie's friends force him to speak with Dorothy, so he agrees and goes near her. When he is about to say hello, the boys shout by saying Hermie is a rape artist. Upon hearing this, Hermie gets shocked, so he leaves that place before Dorothy wakes up. Hermie is angry with his friends, so the trio then gets into a fist fight, and breaks each other's nose, before things cool down. Next morning, Hermie finds Dorothy outside a shop, struggling to carry the things she bought. He goes to help her and he lifts all her bags, saying he'll come along with her by carrying the things. Dorothy asks Hermie to give her one bag at least, but Hermie refuses by saying he can take care of it. On the way, Hermie finds his friends coming opposite, so he covers his face with the bags. But anyhow the boys find Hermie, and start following them. They both then reach her house and Hermie keeps the things on the table. Dorothy offers Hermie some money for his service, but Hermie rejects that saying he did it without any expectations. Dorothy provides a coffee and speaks to him sweetly, which makes Hermie more attracted to her. Once he leaves her house, he finds his friends outside. They ask him what they have been doing inside for this long, to which Hermie tells them about the coffee and the donuts she provided. That night, the boys go to a theater, and one of Hermie's friends named Asi, goes to the three girls standing there, and invites them to go watch the movie together. While they are standing on the line, Dorothy comes there, and invites Hermie to her house, saying she needs some help. Inside the theater, the boys try to go intimate with their girls, but they stop them. The next day, Hermie goes to Dorothy's house to help her. When Dorothy goes up to check the attic, Hermie sees her structure and gets a hormone spike in his mind. Soon Hermie goes up and finishes the work by arranging the boxes. This time again Dorothy offers him some money, but he rejects it by saying he likes her, so she gives a kiss on his forehead. Hermie gets mesmerized after this, so he shows her lipstick mark to his friends. Sometime later, as he tells Hermie about the girls whom they met in the theater are visiting them tonight at the beach. As he decides to play the first hormone game of his life, so he asks the nerd boy to bring his father's hormone play procedure book. They both then read the book and Hermie tells Asi that it's risky, to which Asi shows him a protection pocket, saying it's not risky if he uses this. Hermie asks him for extra pockets, so Asi takes Hermie to the shop. Inside the shop, Hermie is scared to ask it. So he asks for a strawberry cone, to which the shop guy gives him an actual strawberry flavored ice cream. Then Hermie asks him directly and the guy gives him some pockets of protection. That night, Hermie and his girl are seen toasting the marshmallows, and suddenly Hermie gets a call from a C. When Hermie goes to him, he asks for the hormone game play procedure notes from Hermie. A C tells Hermie that his girl is faster than him, so he can't compete with her, and leaves the place in a hurry. Sometime later, again Asi calls Hermie and takes all his protections, saying that their game play is going so good. Soon Hermie girl gets up to leave the place, so she goes to call her friend, and they both get shocked after seeing them in that position. The next morning, Hermie finds Dorothy sitting on a rock and writing something. He goes there to have a chat and Dorothy tells him that she is writing a letter to her husband. 
When Hermie asks her, if he can go and post it, she tells him that this is her personal life, so she'll do it by herself. Hermie then asks her if he can visit her house that night, saying his parents are leaving him alone to go somewhere. As a sweet woman, Dorothy invites Hermie to come over. That night, Hermie goes to her house and finds no one inside, so he calls for her. Soon he sees a letter saying that Dorothy's husband died in the war, and Dorothy comes out of her room with tears. She then hugs him as she can't bear the pain and they both get intimate. Hermie experienced his first hormone play that night and feels like a dream. Next morning, when Hermie is thinking about last night, his friend comes to him and he tells that her girlfriend leaves the island without telling him. Hermie then rushes to Dorothy's house and finds a letter near the lock. In that letter, she asks him sorry for last night and tells him that he is always special in her life. So that's it for today guys. Hope you have an awesome day, and don't forget to cheer people around you. Peace out. If you like the video, make sure to like, share and subscribe to get daily content like this.